Hi guys, this is Dino Sasha here and welcome back to another review and today we're going to take a look at the figure. It is the Safari LTD 2010 Caprasuchus. Now Caprasuchus, which name means boar crocodile, is an extinct genus of Mahajungasuchidid crocodilian that lives in the late Cretaceous period, about 900, I mean, 95 million years ago, what is known as Africa. Now, astonishing length was about 6 meters and 19.7 feet long. Now, the weight is unknown because of their design of those crocs, but let's talk about it. It's the distinctive crocodile that lives throughout millions of years in Africa. This scent is what it seems to simple to a crocodile. However, the only difference is they belong in a different family. They belong in a family called Mahajungasuchidae, and which means that Caprasuchus is the creature that we think. But there are scientific names for the Caprasuchus. Caprasuchus saharicus. This particular beast thrives in Africa and hunts for food for everything it needs it. Because one, unlike all the crocs, the Caprasuchus can run on land and hunt down major prey, like a smaller sauropod or anything else that could be down. Well, the establishing diet there consists of meat, exactly including extinct crocodilians and other particular species. Now, let's talk about the sculpt on this crocodile. Yeah, well, well, that's more like it. A scientifically accurate Caprasuchus. Now, that's what I like how design of this croc. I mean, it looks rather nice, but I would like to see this accurate, but a really designed croc. Do I have a sense of a collection? You know, how the teeth perfectly designed to make it look realistic. You know, don't believe that Caprasuchus might have gone extinct, but I like it. So, the pose looks unaccepted pose because both of the Caprasuchuses has their extent poses. You know, it's like chasing pose, but the detail is rough because unlike the ones for smooth, this one is rough. You know, believe it. this is the Caprasuchus with rough skin, and I like how great design is, and how the schoon. It looks like mixed with crocodiles with something. Well, anyways, we're gonna take a look at the color scheme. The color scheme on this croc has a brown distinctish, such as its this whole body was all, all brown with black spots all over it, and the other body was yellow because how design of it and. You know, Caprasuchus, it's from 2010, the old figure that I have. And for, for my, the first we talk about is the mouth. Now, and how perfect mouth painting, it's pink with white teeth and yellow and substantially green eyes. And how really cool this creature looks like. And I really designed this Caprasuchus with the resign with sharp teeth and, and the snout resemblance. And yes, that looks like a snout look resembling of a crocodile. The safari one looks like a bit of a crocodile with V sh with you know V sh V shaped. Well, that's about it, but the accuracy looks like a realistic alligator like type creature. But I think like how design of this crocodile, I think I'm impressed because this is a Caprasuchus from the accuracy from now on. So we're gonna take a look at the ruler, so let's give this figure a measure. So, in terms from the length of the tip of this tail, always tip of the, always cross the tail and the snout, we're looking at about six and a half inches, which is only at about, well, approximately 17 centimeters, and a height, which is the top of the back, we're looking at about approximately 16 point, I guess we can call it six. I mean, uh, 2.16 meat centimeters, inches, which is only at about approximately, you know, six and a half centimeters. Now, for comparison, I'm gonna bring one of the only Caprasuchus figures that I have. And here is with the Schleich 2021 Caprasuchus. This is the new figure that I have resemblance, but there is some resemblance. This one's figure has opened its mouth, it does not happen. But if you took a look at the close of the figure, it can actually open its mouth. It's an articulated jaw. Well, for the Capro for the figure, it's really sharp and it can provoke being hurt. But for the ones, it cannot. It's hard to proceed to bite. 
Now, it's a soft tee, but this one has a lot of needle like teeth. But I think Capros are really amazing Crocs, but I really like that opinion. So, for the final rating, I'm giving it 10 out of 10 because the design looks accurate. And look how smooth how they are designed of this figure. Mwah! Amazing. As, but most people reviewing this figure because it looks so accurate and how look how design of this creature resemblance and how the croc would look like if likes a like a real animal but I think the capro is my life but I gotta have to return the capro which is has to say this is a really nice figure of change so if it designed a bite it out of it so that makes sense because it looks like a capro challenging at each other. Well, this is another short review, but I don't want to take a long time, but the next video will be on the Dilophosaurus. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications so you'll never miss the video. And leave a comment below, and I hope you see for another episode of the Safari LTD 2008 Dilophosaurus. Goodbye, everyone, see you next time. And look at this Kaposuchus alligator-like head.